Welcome to AppChasers.com. Today we're going to look at exactly how to view the Watchtower library on your iPad. Now we're talking the full Watchtower library, uh, not the online library that's available through JW.org, but the actual library, the same one that you would get with your CD-ROM. And the advantage to having that is, number one, it goes back to the 1950s and it's available when you don't have an internet connection. The app that we use to do that is called iSilo. So here you can see it in the App Store. Uh, it's available and it works for iPhone and iPad. And uh, it's a great way to view what we call PDB files. Now those are old files from the Palm uh, generation that still work with the iPhone and iPad thanks to iSilo. So, the way we're going to do that is open up iSilo here. We're just going to double click and switch over. Now here you go, here's iSilo. It has at the bottom a number of different tabs. Uh, the device one is the one we have selected right now. And that shows all the files that you have on your device. And there's also folders that you can go into. Um, then I really like the recent tab here. That shows you which files you've been looking at uh, the most and which ones are the most recent that you might want to go back into. Now the way iSilo works is it's very similar to just as comparison Microsoft Word. It's a file viewer but it's not the actual Watchtower library itself. So just like with Microsoft Word you need to have Word documents to open and something to look at you also need these PDB files to view the Watchtower library within iSilo. So just downloading iSilo, you're not going to get the Watchtower library. You need to get those files from another source. Now once we have those Watchtower library files, perhaps someone emailed them to you or they're in your Dropbox, um, you can go ahead and load those into iSilo. Now we'll show you how to do that in a couple different uh, ways. The first way is right on the iPad itself. So I've got my iPad here and it's open with iSilo, but we're going to go ahead and go into our mail. We had a friend who emailed us the Watchtower library, uh, the two different files. There's one that's an index file and then there's also the full file that reference each other. So we need them both. Let's type on the, uh, let's take a look at the index file first and that's the first one that's listed here. If we click on that, it's going to open up Safari and we've got a link to Dropbox here. It's going to ask us if we want to download that link. So we say yes. So now it's going to start downloading that file. And you'll see what happens after it's all finished downloading. So we'll just wait a minute here. It's a 16 megabyte file. So, all right, it took a little bit, but now it's ready. Now we have the option to open in iSilo. So we'll click that. It's going to switch back to iSilo and we've got the Watchtower Library index loaded into iSilo here. Now if you go over into our document list here, if you look, we're still on that recent tab and it doesn't show us that we have um, the index in iSilo. To, do, to see that again and to get it into our recently opened uh, tab, we need to go back to our device tab and then the file that we actually downloaded is in our inbox, which is a little bit strange. Um, if you click on that little uh, icon here, well, we just opened it up again. Let's go back to our doc list on the bottom and we'll just tap on this little paper icon and uh, it asks us if we want to open it, uh, look at different categories, rename it, or copy it. So those are just some of the options that it gives us here um, once we have that open. But because we opened it now from our inbox, if we go back to our Recents tab, uh, we've got it here already ready to go. So now we'll go back into our document list. Let's go back to our email. We'll do the same thing for the full version of uh, Watchtower Library. Now this is a really big file. If we click Download again, it's going to take some time. You can see this one is 172 megabytes. So let's wait a minute here and we'll wait for it to download. Then we'll do the same, we'll take the same steps that we did uh, with the index. Okay, so now you can see we've got uh, iSilo 
um, downloaded that 172 megabyte file. It took a little time, so just be patient. We'll say open in iSilo again, and it's gonna take a little bit of time just because the file is pretty large. But we switch over here, and now we've got the Watchtower library uh, in iSilo. Let's go down to our documents list here. We'll just show you that that too ended up on the device tab. And uh, again, if we go into that inbox, it's right there. We'll click on the full. And here again, we've got the full Watchtower library running on um, the iPad with iSilo. So you can see we can scroll in here. We've got uh, different brochures that we can uh, click on and different chapters that we can go to. So it's a great, uh, really a great tool to have the Watchtower library in this format on the iPad and the iPhone. Now, the other way to get uh, these files into your iPad is through iTunes. Now iTunes, if we go here, let's switch over to my desktop here. We're gonna just get rid of our iPad here and we've got our iPad you can see here connected in iTunes on our desktop. Now you see these files or these tabs here at the top. Summary which tells you a little bit of information about your iPad. And we can go into the apps tab. Now that's going to load the apps window here. And it shows us all the apps that we have currently loaded on our iPad. So you can see there's a number of them here. Now on the right hand side there's a scroll bar that you'll want to scroll down to and now you can see that you've got your different apps showing up here on the left hand side including iSilo. You can click on that and what you can do is just if you have the Watchtower library like I do here right here on my desktop you can drag that right in and it copies it over to your iPad instantaneously. So it's a little quicker, we'll do that with a full file, it's a little quicker than um, you know, going online, finding an email on your iPad, waiting for it to download, then opening in iSilo. This way is a little bit quicker just using iTunes right on the desktop. And when you have your iPad plugged into your desktop, you can just throw uh, any documents you want into iSilo or into any other app that you want too. But this is a, a little bit quicker. Um, if you don't, if you've never associated your iPad with your uh, iTunes on your desktop, desktop then that first way we showed you is the way you'll want to do that. So that's iSilo. It's available in the App Store and it's uh, ready to go for the iPhone and the iPad.